Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. So today we'll be making this an Among Us Miner or Minion. Maybe you want to customize it, but let's get straight to it. First thing you want to do is make a new file. And so here you go in this file, some basic tips. You can define your origin and your planes right here with these tabs, along with any constructions and sketches you make. And down here for every feature you make, there's going to be a family tree. If you want to, you can edit by scrolling this pin backwards and suppressing features if you want to modify any. So the way it's going to work is first thing you want to do is make the Among Us body. And for that, we're going to utilize a feature called Create Form. We're going to start with a ball. And by using that ball, we're going to create the shape of the character. Once we have this ball, we're going to customize the shape until we mold it into the form of the character, including the legs as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And so now what you want to do when you have the body form, you want to create an offset plane. And with that offset plane, we're going to create the sketches to make the features of this Among Us character.
So once you have the minor outfit, you did the sketch and you moved it over, you can start working on that backpack in the back and this hat. So let's go ahead and do that. So once you have the backpack, you can start working on the cap, which will be a miner's cap. So let's get straight to it.
And there you have it, guys. Once you made the headlamp and the liner you have and the backpack and you're done with all of that, you can start worrying about material properties and colors. So let's go ahead and do that. And there you go. So if you want to, you can change the color formatting and the scheme of the format. Right now it looks kind of like a minion. So if you want to, you can change it blue, red, green, black, purple, whatever you want. So now we're going to go to rendering and see this Among Us miner in the rendering studio. And here it is. As you can see, all the material properties have been applied. And now we're just going to make it look really nice. So as you can see, we initiated the rendering. And what that does is it makes a queue for the render. And once the image is done, you can go ahead and click it and download it. In the meantime, what we're gonna do is capture the image of this workspace. So we can have this workspace of the object to ourselves. So in the meantime, without further ado, thank you very much for coming. And I'll see you guys on the next one.